The movie begins with a man called Seth who is a social misfit and lives by himself. We see him getting ready and going to work at an animal center. He loves his job and doesn't have much else going on in his life. One day on the way home from work, he bumps into a girl named Holly from his previous high school. He used to have a huge crush on her and decides to approach her. When she sees him, she doesn't recognize him which leaves him embarrassed. He reminds her that he used to study with her and asks what she does with herself these days, she tells him that she writes and loves to keep a journal of her everyday experiences. Before Seth can ask her anything else, the bus stops and Holly gets off. That evening when Seth gets home, he jumps straight on his computer and begins looking into Holly on social media. He finds out that she is still single which brings a smile to his face. The next day, he gets talking to Nate the security guard at the center, he tells him he needs to be confident and just asks her out. This is out of his comfort zone and while they are talking, a nurse interrupts them and tells him to bring the German Shepherd to the doctor. The dog is old and needs to be put down which makes him sad. He is unable to take the dog home and reluctantly does as the doctor says and the dog is put out of his misery. Later, he takes the dog to the incinerator and notices a dark room behind him, he goes to check it out and then the scene suddenly cuts to him sitting in front of his computer. He begins looking more into Holly and makes a list of her likes and dislikes and memorizes them all. His idea is to meet her again and try to do all the things she likes in an attempt to go out with her. Seth then plans on bumping into her at the restaurant where she works. He tells her she looks beautiful which she finds weird and once again, she doesn't recognize him. He reminds her that he used to go to school with her and met her on the bus the other day. He then invites her to a concert of her favorite singer which surprises her. She begins to get uncomfortable and makes an excuse and walks off. Later that evening on the way home, Holly senses that she is being followed but doesn't see anyone. When she gets in, she tells her flatmate Claire she thinks she was followed home and looks out of the window. Suddenly, her phone rings which startles Holly but it's just her ex-boyfriend Eric who is drunk. The next day at work, she receives a bouquet of flowers which brings a smile to her face, later she goes to the bar where Eric works but to her surprise, he tells her it wasn't him who sent them. Holly is confused and doesn't know what to make of it all and goes outside to smoke. She is then approached by Seth who has been following her, he tells her it was him who sent her the flowers. Holly is freaked out by this and calls him a psychopath, she warns him to stay away and tells him she doesn't like him. Seth is unable to take the rejection and when he tries to talk to her about it, they get into an altercation. Eric sees what is going on and he chucks Seth out of the bar. Seth is hurt but while on the ground, he sees Holly's journal and quickly picks it up and runs off. Over the next week, he begins reading it intensely. A few days later at work, Seth goes back to the dark room at the animal center and comes up with a plan. He looks on the internet on how to construct a steel cage and gather some equipment. Something has gotten into Seth and he begins acting like a psychopath. He then steals some sedatives from the medical room and tests it out on himself to see if it works on humans. He soon gets knocked out and falls asleep on the bed. The next day, he follows Holly and breaks into her house while she is sleeping. He knocks her out with a sedative and bundles her into a box. We then see him taking Holly to the animal center but Nate sees him. Luckily, he manages to distract him and takes Holly to the back room. He then puts her inside the cage he built and leaves. Sometime later, Holly wakes up and doesn't know where she is. She freaks out and screams out for help but it is no use. She frantically tries to break out of the cage but ends up breaking her nail instead. No matter how loud she screams, no one is able to hear her. A little while later, Seth arrives and he gives Holly a small pot to relieve herself. That's when it dawns on Holly that it was him that brought her there. She begs him to let her go but he tells her he is doing this for her. He then leaves leaving her by herself the whole day, after work. He comes back to check on her and gives her some food to eat. She begs him again to let her go but he just locks the door and leaves. Next, we see Holly passing the days imagining talking to her roommate Claire. Later, Holly needs to use the pot and as she is kneeling down, a rat suddenly runs past her which scares her. She goes crazy and ends up killing the rat with her bare feet. When Seth arrives again later that day, Holly asks him what his plan is with her, she tells him he is a psychopath and he just laughs. He tells her she will be fine and he has no plans to hurt her. 
Seth tells her he fell in love with her when he saw her in the bus a few weeks ago and he is keeping her in prison for her own good. As Seth is leaving, Nate sees him and asks what he is doing there. He tells him he thought he heard something and manages to fob him off. Later, we see Seth reading through Holly's journal again and he discovers that she has a few secrets of her own. Eric slept with Holly's best friend Claire and when she found out about it, she took her for a car ride and ended up crashing the car on purpose injuring them both. When Holly saw that Claire was still alive, she finished her off with a piece of glass. Since then, it turns out that Holly has been hallucinating, she imagines Claire is still alive and talks to her. As Seth reads on, he is shocked to learn that Holly is the one who has turned into a psychopath, she has been going around and killing complete strangers and then writing about it in her journal. The next evening, he brings Holly's journal with him and talks to her about the victims. Holly tries to convince Seth that the journal is full of fictional stories but he tells her that he knows she is lying. She is shocked when he tells her that he went to the police station and they confirmed how Claire died, it was exactly the way she had written about it. He tells her that he has been secretly following her for months and saw exactly how she became a serial killer. He explains how he saw her kill one guy by choking him and how she set one guy on fire. He knows that she is a ruthless killer and that was the reason he kidnapped her. A few days later, Seth comes to see Holly again and she tries to gain his trust, she begins opening up about the killings. After being cheated on, she went crazy and wanted to teach as many men a lesson as she could. She then tries to seduce him but Seth knows what she is up to. He tells her he has read her journal and knows how she thinks and her games will not work on him. Suddenly she begins hitting her head against the bars and this freaks Seth out. She tells him that she will kill herself and the police will eventually find out what he did. He leaves in a hurry and decides not to visit her for a few days. After a couple of days, he goes to check on Holly and she is desperate for food. He tells her he did not like her behavior the other day and if she wants food, she will have to promise that she will not do that again. She manages to seduce him in her sweet little voice and Seth gives her a chocolate bar and leaves. Unknown to Seth, Nate has been growing suspicious of him and has been watching him. After Seth has left, he goes into the room and to his horror, he discovers Holly there. Unexpectedly, Seth returns and catches Nate talking to Holly, surprisingly instead of shouting for help, Holly keeps Nate talking and Seth attacks him from behind. This is where we find out how crazy Holly really is, she begins laughing as her plan has worked. She tells Seth they are both the same now, they are both murderers. Seth freaks out at what he has just done, it's too late now and he needs to get rid of the body. Psychopath Holly tells him that she will help and tells him exactly what to do. She tells him to remove the teeth first and then cut the body into small pieces. He does exactly as she says and then feeds parts of the body to the dogs and burns the rest of it in the incinerator. A few days later, Nate is reported missing by his family and the police arrive at the center to question everyone. When it is Seth's time to be questioned, he begins acting strangely and the police get suspicious of him. That evening, we see Seth talking to Holly. He is under the impression they have grown close and share something very special. To prove his love for her, he cuts off his finger but when he is distracted, Holly picks up the knife and threatens to finish herself off if he doesn't open the cage. Seth has no choice and opens it and Holly makes her way towards him. She presses up against him and she kisses him passionately. From nowhere, she slits his throat and escapes from the basement. A few months go by and we see that Holly has got back together with her boyfriend Eric. She is living a normal life but one day, she finds that Eric is cheating on her again. Strangely, she doesn't do anything and instead, she gets up and leaves to go somewhere. She arrives at an abandoned warehouse and this is where we learn that Seth is not dead. Holly has been keeping him alive and he is no longer able to speak. We see that Seth has been disfigured and is completely broken. Holly has been taking out her frustrations on Seth and made him her little plaything. In the last scene, she thanks him for saving her and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.